Hey everyone, it's Elaine. I wanted to come on here and talk about boundaries, um, specifically in relation to growing up in a high control religion or religious cult. Um, I grew up in a religious cult called the Gleshini Cristo, um, but this can be applicable to other fundamentalist religions or uh, religious cults as well. So when it comes to boundaries in a high control religion, you're not really taught how to set personal boundaries. Um, because what you're taught, f usually from baptism, is how to strictly adhere to the rigid boundaries of the church, and that's usually rooted in the doctrines, which is usually rooted in the ideology of the church. So, you know, what, for my example, I grew up in a really high control religion that taught, you know, women how to be more subservient and um, not to speak up and, and, a lot of the times members, if they did speak up against any of the doctrines, they were met with backlash and validation, punishment. Um, you were seen as an outsider if you didn't obey or you were you were labeled as a as not a good member or not having faith. So when your voice is continually stifled, you're gonna that that practice of setting a personal boundary is kind of gonna be non-existent. So when you leave a high control religion and you might not even have heard of the word personal boundary, right? So a personal boundary is like, um, typically like, I don't want you to call me after a certain time in the day because I have work the next morning. But you can't really tell, um, in my church, you couldn't really tell the ministers or the overseers like, hey, like, I don't want you visiting me twice a week. I don't want you coming over to my house. Um, this many times like you know because you were seen as like like a, a bad member right so um or you know because of the high demand and the high control there there's no fluidity within the structure of the church so when you leave that you're kind of like in this space where it's really hard to even speak up for yourself but it's possible to undo that and to unravel that and to start setting your own personal boundaries it could start off small um, but also too I want to say that the trauma that you've experienced when you've grown up in a high control religion that can kind of um, hold you back from setting the boundaries so it's important to practice the boundaries and gain coping skills after you leave a high control religion but it's also important equally important to address the unresolved trauma because it's like someone has taken a part of you a part of your soul um and you've lost your autonomy and when you leave a high control religion you're trying to regain your autonomy you're taking baby steps to reshape your narrative um, and rebuild a new identity and a path for yourself. So all of these things have to be be um, learned and taught to you, and you practice them as you as you um, go on in your new path and your new life. So I just want to say that it's possible to set boundaries and personal boundaries with family members. And you know what? You might get a lot of backlash as well from family members um, who are still in the church. And when you do practice setting a boundary with one of them, and if they continually push back on your boundaries, it might be a good time to reevaluate if you, how much energy you want to expend in that relationship. And I know it could be really hard with family members, um, like especially your immediate family members. I want to say it is possible to still maintain connections within your religious community. I have best friends that are still part of my religious community, but we respect each other and no one oversteps anyone's boundaries. So that's how we're able to maintain a connection um, filled with love um, because and, and admiration for each other because we, we don't overstep each other's boundaries. It can be really painful to separate yourself from that religious community, especially, especially when you don't have their support. But at the end of the day, I think you have to really reevaluate what's important to you, what your values are, and how important, you know, your mental health is to you so that you can live your life with peace and, and you can live your life um, not in fear. Because when you grow up in a high control religion, a lot of the times you are in fear at the deep core root of it. So I hope this helps in any way. If this resonated with you, if you have a question or comment, you're more than welcome to leave them in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.